Hello. Today we're thinking about Holy Week and I've got a special ribbon. It's a purple ribbon because purple is the colour for Lent. And it's got some special spaces. It's got one, two, three, four, five spaces. And we're going to be thinking about some crafts that link to these spaces. This craft links to this event in Holy Week. And I wonder if you know what this might be. Hmm. So it's a palm leaf because this craft links to Palm Sunday, which is right at the beginning of Holy Week. And the craft we're going to be making is to make a keg donkey. Put the top of the donkey there. We'll move this. Now, to start off with, you need a template for the donkey, which you'll be able to download in the link. Or you could just design your own donkey template. Now, once you've printed it out, then you need to take your scissors and you need to cut your template out. Ready? So then you have a template like this, which you can use to draw around on the cardboard. And I've got a piece of cardboard box here. So I'll put our template on the, cheap, the box and then we can draw around it like this. But I'm not going to draw it now. Ready? There we have, we've got our template ready to go. So the next thing you need to do is to use your pair of scissors and cut around your template so that you have a card shape like this. Here we go, and we've got our card shape. The back of that is, the, is the, um, some cereal box. So then you can, um, you've got your shape here and what you need to do is you need to choose some colours um, or you could have paints or pencils and to colour in your donkey so that um, it looks like a brown or a grey donkey or you don't have to stick with donkey colours. You could have a multicoloured donkey. Um, if you have some wool, you could maybe give your donkey a mane, um, or maybe a tail. If you've got some felt, you could make bits of it fluffy as well. If you've got some glue, you could stick all different pieces of paper on it. Um, if you've got some googly eyes, you could give your donkey some googly eyes. So if you colour all of that in, and then we'll be ready for our next step. Ready? Here we go. Here's one I made <laughs> earlier. Now, you can see my donkey hasn't got any legs because you need two pegs. Now, it's a really good idea to choose two pegs that are about the same length so that they can stand up. Right, now, oh, that one's not quite the same length. Hang on a minute. There we go. Mm, let's have a bit of a jig about. Right, those look better. Put those slightly too small pegs over there and move my scissors. And then with your pegs, if you take your colours or your paints, then you can colour in hooves on the end of your um, pegs and you could colour on some of the body as well. Ready? There we go. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but I've got pegs which have got some uh, hooves at the bottom and some body colour at the top and I'm going to peg them on one on each side 
If I put it on the white background, you might be able to see it a little bit better. And if this works, yay, look, my donkey can stand up. He's not a wonky donkey. There we are, look. And then you could have, you could put your donkey down and then you could cut some leaves out for some paper. That's Kipling, my dog. He's quite interested in what I'm doing, so he's sort of trundling in and out. <laughs> Hopefully not knocking anything over. Um, then you could have your donkey going over the palm leaves and the um, and maybe you could cut out some uh, cloaks because the people wave palm leaves saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus is coming into Jerusalem. Hosanna, Hosanna. Uh, so you maybe you can make some some clothes to put down as well and then you can move your donkey and help tell the story 